Um, I just knew the first time I saw him, I was there with a, a gentleman that I was seeing at the time, and I the my first thought was, this person's um, dangerous. <laughs> And then it took like a couple of times of running into him that I kept seeing him. I knew I was going to have something to do with him and be involved with him from that point on. Um, I didn't know exactly how, but I just knew it was going to progress. And it did. We became friends, the three of us. Uh, he started cooking for us, and he was an excellent cook, of course. The guy that I was seeing went to go get cigarettes, and I was sitting on the counter in the kitchen, and we just kind of came together. And it took off from there, and then we were pretty much inseparable after that, so. Okay, what was it like moving from town to town? It didn't bother me at all. It's like a new adventure for the book. You know, a new chapter. Meet new people, you know. I was with him. I didn't care where I went. I'd go anywhere with him. <laughs> what, okay, while living in Seattle, um, between the first and second trial, uh, you were alerted by Pergola of Nino's death. What, what was Dominic's reaction? Oh, he was very sad, very upset. Um, very upset, but that's part. Of, that's all part of life. Um, I'm surprised he got. We call it an early out here. <laughs> For as much hell as he put people through, I'm surprised that God took him as soon as he did. But I'm sure Nino's heart was broken too, like a caged bird, you know, in in his own way, in his own realm. So, yeah, Dominic was upset. He was very close to Nino. He loved Nino very much. I don't think Nino realized that. I think if Nino had realized that. He and Dominic could have been a force that couldn't have been reckoned with in a lot of ways. But Dominic, or Nino didn't realize that Dominic was down for him and he was on his side. I think Nino felt that Dominic was a threat. And that's why a lot of the falling out came down between the two of them, or on Nino's end of it. Dominic loved his family, he loved his uncle Nino, he raised him. But he also kept Dominic under his thumb too, which did Dominic ever talk about his real father, biological father? Yes, yes he did. That broke his heart too. He didn't understand until later down the line uh, what really happened and what really went on with that. His father died of heartbreak. I think when Marie, um, Dominic's mother, passed away, his father uh, would sneak into the um, church or the, or the mortuary to, uh, and they'd let him visit. He died shortly after that. He loved Marie and that was part of the family, drove his father out. But they also told Dominic a whole different side of it, a whole different story that Dominic never understood until he got way older. So I think that was sad, sad, Travis. Because we had a lot of times that when we did a lot of drugs, we were high a lot of the time, but when we went deep. But that's where I learned so much about him also, and he learned about me, and yeah. And I had to explain a lot of things to him to help heal his heart because the guilt that was behind everything he did like his feelings towards turning on the family while well, the family tried to kill him. You know, he found that out in an indirect way. And why should he die for a family that he dearly loved when it was their, what do I want to say, their um, paranoia with Dominic thinking he was going to do something to harm the family and he never would have done that. And uh, his mother never wanted Nino to bring him into the family. Um, Nino didn't listen to her. That was a big mistake. That was a big mistake. Do you think if if he, he never went into the family, what would he be? Um, I, would, I would think a musician. I would think he would have followed the arts that way. But who knows? Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. So, And the same with Nino. Um, they were a very dangerous crew. They were a very dangerous outfit. And so maybe it was time for that to end too. Were you, were you ever afraid? No. Of Dominic? Of, no, not of Dominic, but of any no, no. mob or anyone coming no. after you? No, uh -uh, no. He taught me well. I still don't, I haven't forgotten. Um, no, he taught me well. I think I have to remind him sometimes. <laughs> I have to remind him sometimes. He could never forget. It scares me when he goes to New York and he stays as long as he does. You know, there's enough young Turks out there that if there's anything left from within the old way about it, uh, somebody's not going to forget, and I think he's got to, to be real careful about that. I don't ever forget it. Like I say, he taught me well. Taught me real well, but as far as being afraid, no, I was never afraid. Never have been.